aircraft. Man, that explains us, really explains us. The spokesperson says that statement comes after the government looked at several data sources other than this tape, although they will not tell us what those data sources were. With us now, the physicist, Michio Kaku. He is the author of Physics of the Impossible and is about to explain to us exactly what happened. Thank you for coming. Glad to be on. Help me. You, you've gone point by point by frame point. Frame by frame. I've gone through the video. Tape. So you, you stopped this video and you looked at frame by frame by frame. And what did you learn? At first, I thought, oh my God, an unauthorized launch of a ballistic missile. This is scandalous. Or this an is accident. Huge, or an accident, right? Yeah. But then I said to myself, wait a minute. When you go frame by frame, something is wrong. First of all, the object is not accelerating. Rockets have booster rockets that take it to 15, 18,000 miles per hour. This thing is cruising at a constant velocity. Second, is changing direction slightly. Ballistic missiles never change directions. Third, it's going in the wrong direction. We fire from Los Angeles, Vandenberg. We fire east to west to Kwajalein in the Pacific, sometimes over a north over a polar orbit. This thing was going northeast in the wrong direction. And also, even though it looks like it's going vertically up, maybe you're looking at it edge on. When you look at an airplane going edge on, it looks like it's going straight up when it's actually cruising very gently. Not only that, contrails expand rapidly at the base. The older it is, the, the, the larger they like expand. Like the contrail right there. Right. The so it looks as if that thing is moving away from you, right? Actually, it's probably moving toward you. Huh. It's an optical illusion caused by the fact that we look at the bottom, we think the bottom is closer than the top. But because actually, it's fatter. Yeah, because it's fatter, because the, the contrails expand. Now, there's airplanes from Hawaii to Phoenix that go right over Los Angeles at around exactly the time which is in question. So it's probably a commercial airliner that is cruising very slowly. And the killer is, this is now the, the smoking gun. We have radar analysis of the entire area. We see no evidence of a fast-moving object. All we see are airplanes. That's all we see in the area. So why doesn't the Pentagon simply come out and say what we physicists believe, that it is an airplane? And the reason is it's always hard to disprove a negative. Right. It's always easier to prove a positive, but to disprove a negative is very difficult. You can't rule out this possibility or that probability with a certain percent error, right? That's why the Pentagon is being very coy about this, I think. Well, you know, the, my problem with all this from the very beginning has been we, have, we keep track of every single aircraft at every part of our sky at every second of every day. Every 4.3 seconds, it mm, updates. Right. So we know where every jet is every 4.3 seconds. So can't they look at this video and go, oh, this was United 1231 en route from... I mean, that would help. Why, why put us through all of this? Well, it's hard to disprove a negative. In well, other words, know, the radar... Could, but if you were the FAA, you could right. say, all right, we know exactly the time this was right. taken because it went live on their air. Right. They can say, this was this flight. Why won't they? I think they need a new PR director. Okay. <laughs> I think that's what they really need because they really need a dose of reality. You know, the Pentagon has to interface with the public. Yeah. The public is a taxpayer. They pay the bills. And the taxpayer has a right to know what is going over their skies. And also, jet pilots also weighed in on it. They say they saw nothing unusual. But how can you say that when there was this gigantic cum trail yeah. in their own backyard? Yeah. Why the wasn't everybody is, on the coast screaming? The answer is jet pilots look down from above where it looks horizontal and ordinary. We look at it from the bottom up and we see these gigantic plumes of gas shooting straight up. But somebody up there looking down sees a horizontal plume of exhaust. Therefore, that's why the pilots say, I saw nothing. There's yeah. nothing out of the ordinary there. It's a jet, isn't it? It's a jet. In other words, you look I'm at all saying. the dots I'm and saying. you take the simplest line that goes across all the dots and that's a jet. Sorry well, for all you conspiracy bugs. Well, I, I'm sure they were having fun with it. We were enjoying the video, and, but I can tell you're very smart. You know exactly what you're talking about. But at the end of this program, I'm going to show them what it really is. Ah. It's aliens. But I'm going to show them <laughs> how it works. Thank you for okay. setting us straight. Very helpful. One charity finding a relatively...